Lutein. In the Grand Survival Horror Tradition, they found a thing, they brought it back, didn't know what it was, decided to fuck around with it, got got. Now the whole thing is just a train wreck. Yeah, they found a marker, brought it back, bumped the mic. Sorry. Uh, and stuff happened as a result. Uh, at this point, they still, like, call it a virus. I really don't agree. I think that this is straight-up magic that they're doing. Bio curse. Yeah. Biological prosthetics center. What do you think that is, dear? Come on! Come on! Let me out! You might want to watch what's happening to that guy. So they can shoot. What can shoot? That thing? That. It can shoot guns? No. Oh. <laughs> That's why I was wanting you to watch, see. Sorry, I was really wanting to save him, but I guess you really can't. No. I tried. So, what do you think a biological prosthetic is? Um, a leaf arm? Like an adventure time? Like, like a anamorph arm? A what? What are these monsters called? Necromorph. A necromorph arm? Necromorphs didn't exist until recently. Did the necromorphs come from the prosthetic arms? Why don't we go in there and we'll see. Oh. So he just got got. He's not even, like, a necromorph. Check it out. Oh, it's the babies. That's how uh, they take care of workers after their accidents. What does that mean? They clone babies and then just grow them up and reattach the limbs. <laughs> so, how do I kill that thing? All right, stay out because th this is just useful tips. Stay out on them some more. Okay, don't face fuck them. Don't face fuck, you have a gun, Sarah. You don't need to melee fight these dudes. They want to melee fight you, don't let them. Okay. Why let them get the satisfaction? Answer me this. So, yes. they are making neck... Okay, people on the ships have babies. Yeah. I assume they're going through some type of population crisis. No, they just need more limbs. People lose shit in accidents, and they gotta graft more stuff on them so the workers keep working. Are they using the stem cells for... Is this like a BB situation? No. They just need more stuff. So they're using living things. Yeah. Babies. Yeah. Is this like a secret or is this like a well-known thing? And people are like, eh. Yeah, this is just a thing. People don't care. They're just making brain dead children so they can graft their body parts onto others. Is it like test tube babies? Is it like... I mean, look at the wall here. This is probably test tube babies we're talking about. So is like, does Isaac know about this? And he's like, eh. Same. Isaac doesn't care. Do you hear the baby like cries that I'm pretty sure are hallucinations? Those might be dementia, yeah. Look at him. He's like... Yeah. That's creepy. So is it raised anywhere that it, this is unethical or... It actually is uh, part of the religion of the Unitologists. Don't kill babies? No, do kill babies. I wonder if Visceral has something against babies. Ugh. I feel my skin crawling. Yeah, isn't this a creepy area? Ugh, it's stuck on my leg. <laughs> Ugh, get it off, gross. Ew, human. Ugh. I just can't wrap my head around, like, how they're just like, yeah, this is ethical. <laughs> yeah, because in Death Stranding, they do it because the is babies have the, psychic is powers. Is this the game where they want to make... Yes. But that's a spoiler. Can you cut that? You can cut that. That's fine. Whoopsies. Anyway, so yeah. Um, What's the other scary... Um, this is Dead Space. There's also Alien Isolation. What was the... Is this the game that was known for being, like, so, so scary? Or is that I see Alien Isolation? Or are they both kind of like... They're both really well known for being scary. Okay, okay. That's the door you came in, you know. Really? Yeah. Oh. 
I see. <laughs> so are they similar games is what I'm asking? Uh, you know that Dead Space was based off of Aliens, right? It was inspired directly? So it's a survival horror game based it? off of... Shoot. There you go. Crack the code. Cool. See what happened? I shot it. And oh, the limbs popped out. I have to sever the limbs. Yep. Cut the limbs. Cut off the limbs, though. Are these cradles? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> get out of here. Oh, get off, you freaky little thing. So... I panicked. Oh, I do not want to, like, look back on the recording and see all the weird faces I was making. <laughs> Line up perfectly. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, Wait, uh... Wait, so they're, these aren't test tube babies? They are at least partially test tube babies. I don't know how far it goes back. Um... But yeah, I just can't wrap my head around this to where they're like, yep, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because, like, in it, again, in Death Stranding, there's also a very small amount of them. And you're sure the regular people are okay with this? This isn't, like, a thing where they're like, ooh, yummy. This isn't just a thing where they're like, we don't know about it. Ooh, special effect. Uh, I got the thermite. Yeah, great. Remember to not charge into the door that's slamming open and shut. Perfect. Get in there. I'm trying, man. I'm sure you heard something. So his legs are armored. You're out. Remember, you got your stasis as well. That was rough, but I don't know if you even took any damage. Walk forward. You didn't take any damage. You just managed to hold them off while you were backed into this corner. So remember when you, you asked if being backed into a corner is safe? It's about that safe. It, it is safe if you can keep shit away from you from the front. And use all your ammo. But it does, it can be ammo costly. So what you do want to do is have stuff in front of you, but also have empty space behind you that you can reliably back up to. Um, yeah, so, so they talk about, like, the virus, you know, the virus that allows necromorphs to, and, like, I don't... You this, guys are the virus. This is bullshit. There's no way that, the, that this could be a virus. This is beyond science. This is definitely magic. Like, this... Some Cthulhu shit, you know? It is, it is. It's old god stuff. faster reload i love this more games should do this it's a really interesting system of upgrading and they got rid of it in dead space 3 oh that's unfortunate it is well all of dead space 3 is rather unfortunate i would say a little more world building this time yeah i'm digging it so yeah so one thing that is kind of underappreciated at this point i would say is like how prevalent of a religion um Uni unitology, that's what it's called. Wait, do they know about unitology at this point? They, they've they mentioned it at all. They've mentioned mm -hmm. it here and there. Um, but those are the those are the guys who are like, this is God's work. They're unitologists. They You get a lot of that in Dead Space 2, but Bomb back time. away. Oh, I can't. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. All right, you're heading into the morgue in a zombie apocalypse. One where corpses just get up and start walking. It's this is my girlfriend. It is. Ah, that looks great. We need more help. She's we pretty. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. She has such cute teeth. Get up to the table. Hold him. Not you. Hold him down. Is that Isaac in the background? No. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. I'm not. <laughs> Where do you think Nicole is? I don't know. Some place that, that, you know, 
She's in character development land. <laughs> Residing around the fridge. She's in the off-screen closet where we keep characters we don't want to deal with right now. Oh. Sarah. <laughs> it's a motion-sensitive door, Magneto. <laughs> Sorry, we're full. No. But yeah, unitology is the most common and uh, then atheism. Um, saying God, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Save uh, me. As like a minced yes. oath is still fairly common, as we can see by Nicole swearing and Isaac says all manner of swear in the second game, even though that those are like predominantly Christian swears. You know, Lord's name in vain and all that shit. Good. Pop the yeah. Good. Handled. That's three plasma rounds. Oh, scary. Oh my god, the way that you just fucking bend it like Beckham. Mm. Don't worry, it's just a friendly old morgue. Mm. Good job, EA. Oh yeah, we should put a flashing lights warning. Dead Space is awful about this, may I say. Dead Space is absolutely miserable about flashing lights. Because they just do it all the time for it, the sake of it being scary that you can't Wait, see. is this the birthing room? No, this is the morgue. Oh. Same thing. It's the exact opposite, in fact. In this day and age. <laughs> in this economy? Same thing. We all have them. Okay, so you have to keep holding down okay. right click. Okay, okay, right click. Right click is just aim. And, then... and it's how you keep moving it around. But you can let go of F so you can keep moving your character. Where do you belong? I don't know. There's a square hole we can put the square peg into. Hmm. I wonder. I need a battery shaped hole for this battery. Bingo. Bongo. We're doing it again. Sorry, that looked beatable. Are they, so they just do dissections of this room or something? It's a morgue. Yeah, but why are there tables? To, do you know what a morgue is, dear? Yes, I know what a morgue is, but usually they slide them in so they're covered somewhere. That is a good point. Maybe that's, that's the next what, room. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, this looks more like a sick bay. Oh, you're right. God, this probably imagine, is the sick bay. Imagine being oh, in a, go to the door. Go to the door. Imagine being in a sick bay and being right next to the morgue and they're just No, like, go, look above the door. Back up. Current return to security. That's the way. Okay. Head out and look behind you. Is there a quick turn? I don't know. Emergency room. Emergency there you go. Emergency room. Okay. So also, isn't that brilliant that you can just look at the door and just figure shit out? Elevator to morgue. So that's probably the shortcut back out when you're done in the morgue. Okay. I'm exploring. Mm-hmm. Put that music back where it came from. His tentacles aren't out yet, by the way. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so that was uh, three line racks too many. <laughs> if you pop him when his tentacles are out, he do, he takes more damage. What? What? He puked on you. He did it again. But that's a good use of line racks. The time. The schematic that it gave you lets you make ammo for the line gun now. And so you can just buy it. And so you have a technically infinite amount. Perfect. Right. So, yeah. Don't reload until you're safe. I thought I was safe. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. In the wall. I'm sure she made it out Hello? perfectly fine. Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait. I'm 
know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Okay, Help. if I meet anybody Help. named Help. Harry. Please. Shoot. Why would she be like, wait, I know you. You're that man, aged 47. Careful. <laughs> you didn't know what you were backing up into. But backing up while shooting is good. While you're moving, reload. Wait, what? Handled? Hmm? Is everything dead? I guess your punch might have killed that guy. So you see how good proper use of the line gun is. Uh, newborns. Alice, Al Alyssa Rose, Kai Jaten, Alyssa Leone. They name them? Well, if you notice, only some of these have last names. And some of them actually have the same first name as another one. I can't scroll, so I think that's it. Uh, up or down on the D-pad? Or arrow keys? This? No, the D-pad. Arrow keys. Fuck. <laughs> but it looks like that's the entire list. The D-pad. No, the D-pad. No, the D-pad. I'm breast to... milk. I mean breast milk. Don't talk about that on my <laughs> channel. <laughs> I popped enough blood vessels when you were trying to avoid saying submissive and breedable while you were playing Half-Life. <laughs> Into getting shit starter. <laughs> uh, so if you wanted to head back to the shop and drop off some of the things that you got, now would be a good time. Sure, cutie. Is this Harry? I mean, we know that the person in question was named Eileen, and was probably a woman. Come on, Eileen. Was that funny? Did I get your goat? <sighs> <laughs> Dr. Kine mentioned earlier to Captain Matthias uh, further our previous conversation, I asked to delay bringing up the marker from the planet for a day or two. I'm keen as anyone to study it in detail, understand the sense of urgency. That's why I asked, that's why I asked, what's happening down there is too unique, happening, uh, too unique, too unprecedented, to cut it short without time to study, cause and effect. Light of a discussion with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Dr. Scalarello and Wayland, like Wayland yutani to get their observances from Terrence. Awesome. So, well, the thing is, is that the, the marker just makes the necromorphs. And necromorphs appear to take any flash. Oh. And it, it looks like they just found, like, a bunch of unoccupied, like, flesh. And we're like, oh, cool. So, specifically, um, they make the weird little baby crawlers. Yeah, they turn those into crawlers. I think they actually are called crawlers. I could Google it. I have the tab open the for... problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. For him. And the tentacle. There you go. Hit him again. There you go. There it is. Wait, sorry, what did he say? Dementia. Of who? Shit just happens. Why? The marker. Are you reading the wiki? Yeah. Has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. So the marker causes dementia, depression, all that good stuff. Yeah. Bad stuff. Causes mental stuff in all the brains of the humans around it. Okay, so it's not just Isaac then. Yeah. Isaac just happens to be the one we're playing as. But it's happened to other people that you play as. Okay, okay. But the crawlers are the baby enemies. What are these things called? I mean, aren't the crawlers... The, wait, what, what are you trying to figure out? I'm trying to figure out the name of these guys. The babies? Yeah. Crawlers? No, like a crawler is like a baby baby. Like it looks like a baby doll. They Those call look... the babies crawlers? Like the <laughs> human babies? That's, yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, it is. <laughs> these are lurkers. There they are. 
Sarah, go through the door. Wow. Well, there's the morgue doors that you asked for. Shout out to the morgue drawers. There he is. Oh, no, I hate it. You might want to get in there and kill that thing. I don't know if you see what it's doing. What's it doing? What is, look at it, dear. I can't get in there, huh? You're, there's a window. There's a window? Yeah, that where, window. Where? What do you mean, where? You done? You ain't done. I gotta finish my plate. Anyway. It's stuck to you. Okay. I couldn't. I thought this was glass. What? You told me to go to the window. I thought you meant go through the window. No. You just okay. had to watch. I, I didn't know what you wanted me to do. No. But there's stuff in that room. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking. I didn't know you wanted me to look at it. You said go to the window, and I thought you meant, like, you know, go through. No, And I was like, just it's glass, I can't go through. Marker on the wall. Pardon? Marker. Marker? Yeah. What does that mean? The marker. Is that what the marker looks like? Yeah, it's that mm -hmm. weird little double helix. Mm, pretty. Yeah. Did you hear my dementia? Yep. Let's do everywhere at the end of time, but with dead space, uh, like, sounds. People would kill each other. Why? <laughs> it's shit designed to make you feel like you're going insane anyway. Sorry, I'm just looking for this. Dr. Domus G. It's my sad duty to pronounce Benny Mathias dead. Resorts, uh, resor reports of these circumstances are conflicted. Beyond the scope of my role, I can only report on the body. Generally good health. A cursory blood test shows leukocyte count was low, with eosinophils in particular almost non-existent. What does e that tell you? Eosinophils. It means that there's... Uh, hold on. Leukocyte count was very low, with eosinophils in uh, Basically, his body isn't making white blood cells. It's not responding to an infection. Um... But, 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 but. His pre-flight physical exams showed no such problem, indicating rapid onset. It is unlikely this had effect on his death. So maybe something taking over his immune system? Hmm. Multiple contusions on the arm and hands, indicating a brief struggle pre-mortem. Slight contusion on the ribcage, suggesting the chest was restrained in some way. Cause of death was prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on to the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and then death. Force required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great, and the possibility of self-infliction correspondingly very low. I have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unlawful death, whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Maybe like an aplastic anemia, where they just don't have any, um, you know, white, white blood cells proliferating inside the marrow. Maybe. But, yeah, it's just not showing any, um you know, response. Though I don't know why they would pick out eosinophils specifically. Um, I guess if you have a parasitic infection, they would expect it. I mean, shit, what are these things? I guess so. That. There you go. So yeah, Dead Space likes to do this a couple of times. Um, it's, it's, it does it probably like five or I six need to times. I need to see if I'm right. Just real, real quick. Hold on. You can cut this out, right? Have I been in here? Yeah. Oh. You took a shortcut. Have I been in here? You're backtracking. Where are you going? I'm just, I'm checking this out again real quick. But you're already in here and you scraped the walls. Okay, cool. Sorry, it's... I already have all this. Yes. Why is that there? In case of emergency. And then I was in here. There's a lot in Dead Space that is given to be like, what if it was an actual workspace? Anyway, sorry for my, uh, just lapse in hearing. 
Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. Somehow. It's like the end aliens, except I'm the lady. But there's no cat. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. Um. Ugh. Oh, big old stretch. Power through it, babe. We're almost done with the chapter. You realize you said that like 30 minutes ago, right? I s well. <laughs> Though I will say we did get distracted by talking about jeans. Back on the ship. Or the tram. Back on. Ooh, ladies. Busy soda pop. So, closing thoughts for chapter two. Very scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got um, got spooked a lot. I like the introduction of the new enemies. Yes. So um, now we have the little guy, the gremlins who stick on the walls and shoot at you, and we have the guys that can fly and infect corpses into regular necromorphs. In addition to the leapers who crawl around the floor or jump, and the normal slashers. Yeah, I like the weird um, pseudoscience. Um, but yeah. Yeah, these things strike me as a, like, a type of kind of acting like a virus where it tricks your body into thinking that it's not, you know, it doesn't have any antigens. Yeah. So then, you know, your body never puts out antibodies to it in your white blood cells. If it doesn't have an antibody, then your white blood cells are like... We don't need to be here, guys. We're all fine. <laughs> anyway, that's your science for the day. Chapter two completed. I want to do another one. Okay, but well, we should cut the episode. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I've been Alfred. New save. New save. And I've been Sarah. This has been Dead Space One. Thank you all for coming. Bye. Bye. <laughs>